What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the something happened and your pin isn't available error on your Windows PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. If you use a pin to sign into your Windows PC, you may encounter an error message that says something happened and your pin isn't available. This error prevents you from accessing your account and using your device normally. Fortunately, this Windows error can be fixed on your computer and there's no need to reset your PC. First, while you're on your Windows login screen, press and hold the shift button on your keyboard and then navigate to the power button at the lower right corner of your screen. Click on it and in the pop-up menu, proceed to restart your PC. Make sure that the shift key is still pressed while you're restarting your PC. As you may have guessed, this is not a normal restart. Your PC will give you more options for troubleshooting the something happened and your pin isn't available Windows error message. On the blue colored window, under the choose an option section, proceed to click on troubleshoot and then navigate to advanced options. Under advanced options, select command prompt. In the command prompt window, type reg edit and hit enter. The registry editor window will open up. On this window, Navigate to this path. Computer, H key local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, passwordless, device. You can copy this path provided in the video description below and paste it into your registry editor's address bar to navigate to this location. Also, Know that you will only be able to navigate to this location if you have the something happened and your pin isn't available Windows error message issue on your Windows PC. Here, double click the device password less built version file. And in the pop-up window, under the value data field, set the value to zero and click on OK. And there you go. Close the registry editor window and then proceed to close the command prompt window as well. You will now be presented with the same Choose an Option screen. This time, click on Continue and your PC will restart as it generally would. The error message will be gone and you'll be able to log into your Windows PC without requiring any PIN. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.